So this morning I was lying in bed thinking about the last time I gave a presentation. It was 10 years ago. I presented at California Association of Nurse Practitioner Conference on IUD insertion. At that time I was working at Planned Parenthood Los Angeles and while I inserted 5 to 10 IUDs per day, speaking into a microphone, even as an audience participant, excuse me, participant, scared the out of me. I literally had a twitch in my eye for a week leading to the presentation. As I pulled up to the venue, which by the way was at a Disney resort, my heart was pounding and I thought, of course, my first presentation, I'm greeted by Minnie and Minnie Mouse. I survived the experience, but vowed to never present again. It just wasn't worth the nerves and anxiety that comes with it. And somehow, I'm here. My second conference presentation a decade later. Thankfully, I wasn't greeted by cartoon characters this time. So, how did I end up here again? The answer is, on my path as an advocate, my desire to serve was so strong, I had to put myself back up there. Over and over and over again. I am tired of watching my patients not access care because of costs. I am tired of watching them ration their medication. I'm tired of battling insurance companies for simple things my patients need and deserve. So for me, my path is running for office. So this meant I had to get over my fear of presenting. I feel we need more nurses in every leadership position, every board position, and every political position. I'm running for office because nurses unequivocally advocate for what's best for people. We, nurses, everyone in this room, belongs to the most trusted profession. Can you imagine if our elected officials were as trusted as we are? Every day, in countless ways, large and small, nurses make the world a better place. These moments of everyday advocacy change lives. By elevating the voice of vulnerable people and improving conditions for those around us. It's now more important than ever for nurses to be advocates for our patients and profession. Which is why American Nurses Association has declared 2018 the year of advocacy.